Hi guys, in this video I will show you how you can automatically stop or start EC2 containing a specific tag. You can stop EC2 in all regions using the lambda function and cloudwatch event. You can add a specific tag and only EC2 containing that tag will be stopped. In cloudwatch event you can specify the time and set the schedule. And the lambda function will do everything for you. One lambda function can stop or start EC2 depending on what parameter you use. But first, quick intro. On the beginning, let's create IAM policy. Create policy. I switch to JSON. I need to add couple actions to my IAM role. Describe instances, describe instance attributes, describe regions, of course start and stop instance, and describe instance status. Next, let's add some name, for example start, stop, ec2. Create policy. Create policy. Now I create new role. Create role. AWS services, lambda. Next. And I choose my policy start stop EC2. Let's add some name. So for example, start stop EC2. And create role. Okay, now let's go to lambda. Create a function. Let's add some name, for example, start, stop, ec2, runtime python 3.11, and use an existing role, start, stop, ec2. Create function. Okay. Let's change from JSON to Boto3. Also, I don't need this code. ec2 client. Boto3 client EC2 Now I want to find all regions Regions Region Regions name For region In EC2 client Describe region Regions and now, for every region in regions, let's create new EC2 client, Boto3 client, EC2, and specific region. All instances, EC2 client, describe instances. If all instances, print list all instances, Now, for reservation, in all instances reservations, for instance, in reservation instances, print instance ID, and instance status. If instance status is running, let's print stopping EC2 and instance ID. So, EC2 client stop instance and instance IDs, instance ID, deploy, test add some name for example test01 and test yeah timeout let's change for five minutes get back to code and test again yeah works as you can see I have two stopped instances so, 
let's add some action. Action equals event get action and default stop. Now, if actions is equal stop, then I want stop all instances. And if action is equal start, I want to start all instances, but only this is it to machines that are not running, because it makes no sense to stop machines that are already stopped. Let's deploy. Event name, for example, start. And let's add action start. Yeah, save and test. Uh, okay, yeah. Now it should work. Deploy. Test. Come on. Yeah. As you can see, my EC2 machines were in stopper state and they are just launched. Let's test again. Now, let's stop this EC2 machines. Test. As you can see, the EC2 machines were in running state and now they are stopped. Okay, so now to one of my EC2 machines I added a tag start stop equals true. And now I want start and stop only EC2 machines with this tag. So let's add some variable, for example, start stop tag. Key is start stop. and value is true. And if there is tag start stop equals true on my EC2, let's start or stop EC2 machine. Deploy and test. As you can see, now only one of my EC2 machines are started, because only one EC2 machine has stack start stop equals true. Now let's test stop. Yep. Also, only one EC2 machine was stopped. Go to EC2, instances, and as you can see, only one is the machines has stack start stop equals true. Now we can start this function automatically. Okay, let's go back to the lambda function. Now let's add some trigger. Create new role, for example daily stop ec2 and schedule expression yeah i can copy this i want to stop my ec2 machine with tag start stop true at 5 pm from monday to friday now let's edit this trigger edit go to step 3 select targets additional settings and constant json text now just add action stop Yep, that's all. But I can show you also that it works. Let's edit one more time and change regular rate and let's change for two minutes. Skip the review and update. Update rule. Okay, now we can go to EC2 instances all instances let's start all instances and let's wait you see now instances are running let's wait a moment yeah the one instance was stopped okay let's start this instance one more time and wait a moment
as you can see every two minutes the function is running and the EC2 with appropriate tag is stopped. Let's go to functions, configuration triggers and let's remove this trigger because I don't want to stop the EC2 every two minutes. Yep, that's all. Thanks for watching. On my blog Lepchinski.it you will find more useful informations and tutorials. See you in next video.